snowstorm cleared up. I want to say four days. And I mean, the roads still aren't great. I had to walk to work at the park in a lot 10 minutes away because I could, like, as you guys can see in the video, I could not access my building, which isn't the worst case scenario. It was an intense snowfall. I have the worst habit for laundry. Wash it, throw it on a chair. I don't mind washing it, but when it comes to folding it, ah! I'm already on the floor because I don't have an ironing board. I literally just had the most unconventional breakfast. Leftover rice. So I'm pretty sure that didn't do it any justice. I can promise you that it tastes amazing. And I ate it last night for dinner. It tastes even better this morning. So I'm trying to take this more seriously. So I got notes on that page and on this page about things I want to talk about. What I've become definitely a big fan of, iced coffee. I don't necessarily love it from Tim Hortons. Today is Sunday, the start, the end of most people's week. It's kind of the start of my week. I always get Sunday off, whether it's like the full days and I don't have to go to work or I go in for like one to two hours, knock off a couple tasks and then I come home. So I did that this morning. I came home, walked Tyson. Currently I sit at 80 subscribers. My goal this year, 1000. That's my, that's what I'm aiming for. That's what I want to get to the end of the year. So with this vlog channel, I'm just simply trying to grow a community of people that enjoy it and grow it as much as I can. That's that's really all it is. And I feel like I've made huge strides in terms of editing, in terms of comfort behind the camera, sharing my thoughts, which I'm still working on. I'm still working on sharing my opinion and just to some degree, even being vulnerable on camera and sharing the things that I struggle with and sharing the things that I've had success with. I'm not one to gloat or look for sympathy. So these are huge adjustments for me. I did tell you guys that also I would talk about a couple of things that I bought. I bought the Ulanzi or the Ulanzi, hopefully I'm saying that right. Wide angle lens for the Sony ZV-1. It's an attachment, goes on the front of the camera. It's good and the image that comes out of it is good. It just, the camera looks silly. I'm gonna be honest, the camera looks really silly. It becomes incredibly front heavy. Look who's been joining me for my videos. I've told you guys so many times on the vlog, he doesn't like the camera. He hates the camera. One of the main reasons why I switched back to my full frame camera, it was the audio or the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. I had just bought it two weeks ago. I love the audio that comes out of it. Super crisp, super clean. And I just didn't like the audio I was getting out of the ZV-1. So it didn't even have nothing to do with the ZV-1 or the lens. It had to do with the audio quality. I just wasn't getting the same quality and I didn't want to put the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus on top of the ZV-1 because that would look stupid. So I just didn't do it. So I just decided to switch back to the setup. I gotta clean up my mess. I made a huge mess. These Costco beds are fantastic. Costco pizza. He realizes the camera's on. He's in and out like this. He like, I don't know if you guys can see this. Hi. 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 All right, so I was sitting here and I'm watching back the vlog and all I keep thinking to myself, holy shoot, I forgot to talk to you guys about the drone. The drone literally, the Mavic Mini 2, I bought it for, I want uh, two definitive reasons and then a third reason. So the, the least of the reasons in which I bought it for was that it's 4K. So that was dope, right, 4K. The other two reasons, the first biggest reason I should have started with was the controller. I wanted the controller because your phone now sits on the top of the drone. It's just way easier to fly with the size of it. I have relatively large hands, so the size of the controller allows me a good firm grip. 
yeah, the fact that the screen sits on the top and also a return to home button. The Mavic Mini, for somebody like myself who just likes to take it up once in a while and get some, some footage for the vlog, it's great. Found myself being incredibly cautious about where I flew it, how far I flew it, because I'm just not that good of a pilot with it and I get really anxious and I have, I don't want to push it too far. Battery's about to die, you kind of start to panic. These are all things I was like, every time I took the drone up, I was like, oh, I'm not going to take it too far. And then it kind of limited me to really explore with the drone. So that sucked. So I wanted to get a drone that had a return to home button, but also I didn't want to break the bank and buy a 12 or $1,300 drone. Considering the one thing I did learn with the Mavic mini was that I rarely ever fly this thing. So I wanted to kind of stay within a decent price point. Costco had it on sale. They had a somewhat of a decent bundle for like 500 bucks. So I was like, why not? And oh, like, look at this for someone like me, this is perfect. And the line of sight, because before it used to be on the bottom, the handle was a little smaller. I know it sounds stupid. You bought a drone pack just for the remote, but yes, I did, I did. It feels the way they should have built them before. Why you would ever put it underneath the phone, like underneath the handle, I just don't understand that. The wire in which you connect is just easier. It just seems like this is the way they should have gone from the beginning. You must have known I was filming. He didn't, uh, he didn't respond the way I was hoping for.